Today, I'll show you how to do your Zengo crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another integration video. Today we're talking about Zengo and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about them, then I'll jump into the integration, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. As always, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below if you need help. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So Zengo is based out of Tel Aviv, Israel, and was founded in 2018. It's the world's first keyless crypto wallet. Um, Zengo supports a handful of cryptos, including Ethereum and BTC, and allows you to store NFTs. And now we jump into the integration. The first step, as always, is to create a Coinly account. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can create one completely free, and then head over into the wallets area and type in Zengo, and there is the Zengo wallet. So um, import from file, there is no easy way to get CSV files. So if you'd like to go down this route, you would have to create your own CSVs. Um, let's go into the setup auto sync. So we have a few different options and I'll explain a little bit about how each of them works. So for Ethereum, uh, the first step would be to click on connect blockchain, um, find and select Ethereum and then enter your public address. So let's do that, connect blockchain. Ethereum, and then we would need the public key. So in your app, you would go to the homepage, you would click on Ethereum, and then underneath, if my phone ever loads it, you have under receive, you have my Ethereum address. Just find a way to copy and paste that into Coinly. Moving on into Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin Dash, Litecoin, and BSV. So the first step would be to find the XPUB, YPUB, or ZPUB keys for each of your coins on the Zengo wallet. The only problem with that is, is that they do not have these keys easily available. That could be subject to change when you're watching this video, of course. However, there are options, you know, you can definitely work your way around this. So users will either need to locate a list of all BTC addresses used, um, or generate their XPUB key using the generation method, which I've made a video on and I'll leave in the top right corner and the description of this video. As always, users can also create a um, text, uh, a CSV file with all their transactions manually and import um, a CSV. And then lastly, for all other coins, you would click on connect blockchain button, you would find your coin and you would enter the public address just like how, just how we did it for Ethereum. Um, if you don't find your coin, it means that we can't auto sync transactions for it yet. So let us know through the live chat so we can add support. And once you're happy with everything you see there, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different documentation to offer. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, um, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to your accountant, and they will combine it with other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, always check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. I have a bunch of different resources down below if you need further assistance, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section. If all fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.